Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy, and I'm also known as ETCG1 on this channel. I have two YouTube channels, the other is called Eric the Car Guy, but here on ETCG1 I start things off with, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, please enjoy this digital confection I found for you on the internet. Today's topic is actually a response to last week's topic where I declared that I hate SUVs. Well, I don't really hate SUVs, but they're not my favorite kind of vehicle for a lot of situations. And some of you made a comment, Eric, you own like 20 Honda Elements. Aren't those SUVs? And well, not exactly in my mind. And I probably should have made my definition of what an SUV is more clear. And I will try to do that in this video. So this video is about what is an SUV? Well, in my mind, and according to some definitions, an SUV or sport utility vehicle is a full-size vehicle built on a truck frame that hauls people things like that, things like Suburbans and Tahoes and uh, Expeditions and your Durangos and stuff like that. Things that are built on a full frame. V8 engine, lots of power, able to tow like a substantial size boat or camper. Unlike my Honda Element, which does not do any of those things. It has half the cylinders of what I consider to be an SUV. Uh, it is all wheel drive, not four wheel drive. It's smaller, more efficient in my mind. And I really like, as I pointed out, the clamshell or the suicide doors in the back and being able to get in there and all of that stuff. I, I like what it is because it's smaller, more efficient. I don't tow things on a regular basis. And if I do, I've got a truck for that, a really nice truck. Anyhow, my point is, is that I don't consider my element an SUV. I consider it what is called a crossover, which is a huge blanket term, much like SUV. A lot of people would call a Honda Element an SUV. And actually, by definition, that 2003 Honda, at the Honda Pilot that I just bought isn't technically an SUV because it's not built on a full frame. It's built on a unibody construction based on a car or van platform. The, the Honda Pilot is actually built on the same platform as the Honda Odyssey, so they share a lot of similar underpinnings. And that makes it more of a crossover than it does an SUV, according to that definition. So I think it's really important that we uh, put that out there. And I made a few notes just to put this in a little bit more of a perspe perspective. And by the way, I started out learning how to drive on a 1977 Chevrolet Suburban. That is a monster <laughs> of a vehicle and an SUV, something that my dad and our family drove the wheels off. In fact, I think the odometer quit around 250,000 miles and my dad drove it 10 years after that. So it probably had half a million miles when we pulled the engine and dad got rid of the truck because it pretty much rusted out. It was two wheel drive, not four wheel drive also. We used to haul our camper with it. Like I said, he drove it all over the country. I mean, that was an excellent vehicle. And fun fact, the first SUV, according to, well, common consensus, we'll call it, is the uh, Chevrolet Suburban, and I believe it was called the Carryall Suburban, and that was in 1935, long before the 40s, where they started to show up a little bit more. In 1935, Chevrolet made it something that was, I guess, could be considered the first SUV. Towing capacity is, I think, a big deal when it comes to SUVs because that's part of the utility and sports side of the whole thing. What can you haul with it? Well, my new pilot, I looked up the uh, towing capacity of that, 4,500 pounds for a 2003 pilot. It's all right, it's not great, but it's all right. A Tahoe of the same vintage, 7,400 to 7,700 pounds. An excursion of the same vintage, 10,500 to 11,000 pound towing capacity. And my Honda Element, that thing is good for 1,500 pounds of towing. So you might be able to tow like a little jet ski back there or maybe a dirt bike, something like that. So just to put in perspective, the kind of thing that you would tow with a sport utility vehicle, I think helps define what a sport utility vehicle is capable of, or an SUV. Another term that I found during my research was actually MUV or multi-utility vehicle. And that is kind of what the element falls under. Although that's not a term I hear all that much. I hear crossover a lot more, which is why I brought that up. Those are on unibody frames. So in other words, it's not a body on frame construction, which is what I would consider a true SUV to be. And just to clarify a little more about my feelings about SUVs, 
If you're using an SUV as its intended purpose, you know, like to tow your nice boat or camper or something like that, or bringing your family out every weekend, going someplace, or you live in a place where, you know, there, there aren't many paved roads and, and inclement weather, things like that, things where you're gonna use the all wheel drive and use the SUV for its intended purpose, well, more power to you. I, I got no issue with that. And I really have no issues with FUV owners in general. I mean, if, if that's your thing and that's what you want, great. My my only caution is, uh, like with the Honda Pilot that I just bought, is that if you're in a financially strapped situation, do not consider an SUV because they are expensive. They're expensive in fuel, they're expensive in service, they're expensive in tires. They're just expensive all around. But if you're able to carry that load, fine. Fine, go ahead, go and do it. You know, it's, it's your money, do what you want with it. I just have my own certain opinions about these things that I really haven't liked. And when Honda jumped into the SUV market, which technically we talked about the Pilot and the Element is not being SUVs, they're technically cross crossovers or MUVs if we want to call them. It just, like I said, heavier tires, heavier work, more BS to deal with. You know, I was used to working on cars like Integras and Acura Legends and stuff like that. Those were much easier to work on. You know, I don't want to work hard if I don't have to. Do you? Uh, not that I don't. It's just that if I don't have to, I won't. So I hope that clears up my definition of what an SUV is. What's your definition of an SUV or crossover or something else? It seems now that there's this new thing. It's just basically a bigger car. You know, just a car that can carry more stuff is a lot of what they are. Like think of like a RAV4 or this Element is, is another thing. So it's a unibody construction, but it's just able to carry more stuff inside of it. My issue is with people that buy a giant gas guzzling vehicle, drive it around town like it's a regular car and never use it for its intended purpose. To me, that seems rather wasteful, but who am I to judge? I'm just making videos so that you respond and watch them. That's what I do for a living, so there. I hope that clears up my definition of what an SUV is, and I'd love to hear more about your feelings on what an SUV is or is not. And well, you can tear me up about my element or whatever, but I do love my element. I do love the element. I think that little guy is perfect for what I need and for what I use it for. The Pilot, well, I've got a video coming out on that. I've got ideas for that to make it, well, more cool to me, let's say. Maybe more cool to you, so be on the lookout for that video where I go over that Honda Pilot and uh, show what I find and what I'm going to do to it. I'm kind of excited. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for engaging in the discussion. That's the whole point. I told you in that last video, tell me I'm wrong, and you did. And there's this thing we have going on and I really enjoy it. So I enjoy your comments, good or bad. It's nice interacting with you, getting to meet new people. So thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Uh, there will be links to additional info and videos and stuff in the description, so check there for additional information. If you have automotive questions, airatthecarguy.com will be linked in the description. Otherwise, I post ETCG1 videos on Mondays, so please come back and watch more of them. I really like it when you do. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.